So I have often wondered why there is an unhealthy disrespect of the private sector by some of our public sector officials. Um, and this must be the background. Because we don't think of building up a strong private sector because we don't always value them as partners. Huh? I know this because it has been a struggle for our Exports Advisory Committee to convince a number of public sector players that we should announce, for example, and accompany the President on all trade missions where possible. The public sector finds this problematic. So universities, which are ivory towers of intellectuals and social progress, they do research, but many times they don't see the link with commercialization as long as they get good grants and they write reports. This is a very big disconnect in an economy. Our small gross domestic expenditure on research and development, which is about 0.1% of our GDP, in money terms it's around $150 million. That's the total R&D. We do both public and private sector. This R&D, 47% goes to government, government institutions. 46% goes to higher education institutions like Makere. In fact, I think Makere gets about 30 billion shillings or some $9 million annually for R&D. The private sector consumes very little, only 4% of this total gross R&D for the country, only 4%. I assume this is partly why the World Economic Forum keeps ranking Uganda as uncompetitive in this space. The World Economic Forum puts Uganda as number 114 country out of 137 countries in the world in R&D. We are doing poor on many parameters that rank countries as competitive, and this deeply worries me. That's why I keep doing these teachings. Eh? If we cannot connect university research to business and be very intentional about it, we will not grow our exports and we will suffer the reputational damage on the market and be taken as unserious. Yet I know so many young people in our country are, who are creative, but their energies are not harnessed through provision of good research on key sectors. Eh? This is the reason I went to Makerere this week <clears throat> to make a case for this integrated thinking between companies and our universities. Yeah? R&D in our own businesses needs to be incentivized with tax rebates, with grants from government. It should be promoted to allow private sector contribution in this area to grow. Now, whether, this is, it is, whether it is basic research, applied research or developmental research, it is time to connect our universities to our private sector. So I looked, when I was going to Makere, I looked at the patents that the U.S. filed in 2021 and what we filed at the same time, and I was a little embarrassed. Eh? Now, people don't want us to rank ourselves against the U.S., but if you don't rank yourself against the best, what are you trying to do? So it is good to rank ourselves with our neighbors, but I encourage our people to compete with the best because I am confident we can make it. Eh? So I use the Americans and their market because the reason they are at the forefront of innovation in science, in medicine, in computing, even if they are under threat by raising nations in, in the East, China and others, the reason they are competitive and successful is the R&D at a company and government level. It is also the healthy respect that market in the U.S. gives to the private sector and the feeling by many young people that life and success for many of them begins and ends with the private sector with the government. That's why research and coordination is very good. Many of you might know universities like Stanford incubate businesses before they, you know, become mega businesses, all the ICT uh, businesses that I can speak of. So in 2021, America filed 337,000 patents, up from 182,000 a decade or so. Uganda, the applications we gave to through the World Intellectual Property in 2018 were only six, zero six. 
and this rose to 13 in 2020. Very small, huh? Nigeria made 1,174. Rwanda stood at 68. I think this is why Uganda ranks number 108 out of number out of 119 countries in terms of patents according to the World Economic Forum. This poor showing, rather than astound and embarrass me, I use these numbers as a measure of what more we can do because others have done it. They have demonstrated the possibilities with better leadership in this area. So rather than embarrassment, use these numbers to change. I'd like to hear from you. Please email us at info at tapmedia.com and visit our website at www.tapmedia.com. You can also visit our offices located at Tomosi Business Park, Luzira, Port Bell Road, or call 0414-220-702. Thank you.